G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a little trick to getting rates and unit rates right all the time, okay? Just something I've noticed uh, when I have my students doing these, and just a little trick I can tell them in order to get this correct all the time. So, first off, what are unit rates? Unit rates are where you're given something like uh, you would be, had a question, say, like you had something which was $20 for uh, 5 litres. And what we wanted to know is we wanted to know what the dollars per litre was, okay? What each litre cost in dollars. So how do you go about working this out? Well, it's really simple. You just follow the formula you've been given, the, the formula you've said. What are the dollars per litre, that is? We do it in this order. Number of dollars per, now per in maths always means divide. So the number of dollars divided by the number of litres. So how many dollars we got? We have $20 per always means divide, and the number of litres is 5 litres. So, we can easily work out our answer. What's 20 divided by 5? Well, it's 4. So our price is $4 per litre. And that's how you work out unit pricing. There are a couple little tricks to these, and I'll show you these as we go along. But you just follow the formula you've been given. Okay, you do it in that order, and you can't go wrong. So. What about another one of these? I'll just give you a nice easy one to start off with. Say we had uh, something which cost $35 and it was there were 3 kilos of it. And what I wanted to know, okay, so that was $35 for 3 kilos and I wanted to know the price per kilo. Okay, the dollars per kilo. So how would I work this out? Hey, you yell out. Just do it in that order. You know, the number of dollars divided by the number of kilos. So the number of dollars is $35 per means divide, always means divide. And the number of kilos is 3. So 35 divided by 3, the answer is 11. Okay, so 11 threes are 33, and there's 2 left over, so we're going to say 11 and 2 thirds of a kilogram. Okay, now I'm going to get into some harder ones of these, okay? So, just some variations anyway. They're not harder because you just follow that formula, right? So, they're not harder at all. Just going to remember, follow the formula. So, just some variations of these. So, another example might be where you were, you were told, okay, you bought eight rolls for, uh, what, say, $3.60. And you were asked, what is the price, the dollars, per roll. Okay? So how would you work this out? Now, straight away, the dollars, they're not sitting over there. It's not not a handy little thing where everything just lines up straight away. You have to actually find which one's the price here. The price is this over here, three dollars sixty. So how many dollars? Three dollars sixty. Hey, that's the only variance I was talking about. Per what's per mean? Per always means divide. The number of rolls is eight. Okay, so what's uh three dollars sixty divided by eight? And the answer to that is this is 45 cents per roll. Okay, this is 30, 45 cents per roll. Nice and easy. Okay, one last variation of these is occasionally you'll be asked something like this uh, when you're doing these in maths or, or doing these, say, in reality and trying to work them out. So say you were given something like you had something that cost $2 for 400 mil. Okay, and I wanted to know what the price was, the dollars, per litre. Now, what you're going to notice is this. First off, the dollars, the dollars, the dollars, the dollars. And per means divide, so that's no problem. But here we've got mills, and here we have litres. So what we have to do here to find the price per litre is we have to change this mills, this 400 mills, into something in litres. So there's a 1,000 mills in a litre. Okay, so if I divide by 400 by 1,000, I divide 400 by 1,000, I say... Okay, we're going to get that there's 0 0.4 litres. This is the same, you know, they're just a unit conversion. So now we just chuck things in the formula. The dollars is $2 per, always means divide. The number of litres is 0 0.4 litres. So, 2 divided by 0 0.4, or $2 divided by uh, 40 cents, you might think, or something like this, 2 divided by 0.4. Okay, there's 5 lots of it. This is $5 per litre. Okay? That's all we've got in this video. Hopefully that helped you out and hopefully you find that nice and easy. We'll see you next time. Bye.